In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing a polynomial by a monomial. One way to divide a polynomial by a monomial is to distribute the division through every single term, similar to how we would distribute multiplication. In this first example, we are looking at 9x to the 5th, plus 6x to the 4th, minus 18x cubed, minus 24x squared, all over 3x squared. Since it is all over 3x squared, we're going to distribute this over 3x squared onto each of the terms. As we do, we get 9x to the 5th over 3x squared, plus 6x to the 4th over 3x squared, minus 18x cubed over 3x squared, minus 24x squared over 3x squared. This gives us four separate fractions, which we can reduce individually using our exponent properties. 9 over 3 reduces to 3, and then the quotient rule of exponents says we can subtract the exponents 5 minus 2 to get 3. Plus, 6 over 3 reduces to 2, and then on the x's, again, we'll subtract the exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 18 over 3 reduces to 6, and again on the exponents, we'll subtract them to get x to the 1st. Minus 24 over 3 is 8, and the x squared subtract out completely, or divide out completely, the exponents subtract out, and we get our final quotient of 3x to the 3rd, plus 2x squared, minus 6x, minus 8. We found this quotient by dividing each term in the numerator by the monomial in the denominator. Let's try one more example. In this problem, we have 8x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x plus 6 all over the 4x squared. Again, when we're dividing by just a monomial, we, we can distribute that division onto each of the terms. This gives us 8x cubed over 4x squared, plus 4x squared over 4x squared, minus 2x over 4x squared, plus 6 over 4x squared. Again, we can now go through and reduce each of these fractions. 8 over 4 reduces to 2, and again, we'll subtract the exponents 3 minus 2 to get 1, or x to the 1st. Plus, here we see the x squared's dividing out and the 4's dividing out, which means we have 1 over 1, or just a 1 remaining. Be very careful here. If everything divides out, the answer is 1, not 0. You never will get 0 for an answer when dividing, unless you have 0 in the numerator. Minus, this next fraction reduces to another fraction. The 2 over 4 reduces to a 2 in the denominator, and x to the 1st, dividing out x squared, leaves us x to the negative 1, which tells us to put x to the 1st in the denominator. When everything divides out of the numerator, there's a 1 left over. Don't forget to have the 1 in the numerator. Plus, Again, the final fraction does not reduce to a whole number, so we'll have a fraction. 6 over 4 reduces to 3 halves, and we still have the x squared in the denominator. We finally have our quotient. 2x plus 1, minus 1 over 2x, plus 3 over 2x squared. We get our solution by dividing the 4x squared, or the denominator, by each and every term in the numerator.